evening. It's good to be back after four days. And what have I walked into? <laughs> A load more BS. <laughs> all right. How's everyone been? Hope you've all had a lovely weekend. I know I did. Busy weekend, but a lovely weekend. I went bowling on the Saturday with my grandson and daughter and partner and his parents. How I ever bonged a ball down that alley, I don't know. Because my right arm, I've got no... Since I had my operation two years ago, it, doing some nerve damage. Right, I've got no... I literally got no uh, strength in my arm. I can carry light stuff, but not heavy. So having to pick a bowling ball up and then bowl it down the alleyway, I don't know how I've done it. But I did it. I came third, which isn't bad with a dodgy arm. I beat my daughter and my her future mother and father-in-law, so I'm happy with that. My grandson, who's only seven, he won them. He won. So, anyway, hope you, any men out there, hope you all had a great Father's Day. And for you mums out there who are mothers and fathers, hope you had a lovely day. All right, so please come and comment in the chat. And thank you to all those on X that are here. Thank you. Um, once again, we're talking. I like I like to keep Sebastian Rogers there uh, in front. Even though I have been talking about other cases, I do like to keep Sebastian there. And um, I was noticing certain things come up over the weekend, but I thought, I can't, I'm not going online. Yep, I'm not doing it. I'm spending time with my family, and that's it. So, and then I was going to come online last night, and I rearranged that one for tomorrow night. Because I got home about, what, 7 o'clock last night. And by the time I had something to eat, I was absolutely shattered. I was in bed by ten past ten last night. I was absolutely shattered. So, anyway, let's get on. Uh, as you can tell by the title, it is Sebastian Rogers. And we're going to look at that audio. <laughs> and an apparent... Facebook uh, post was put up on a page for Justice for Sebastian Rogers. Mm hmm. That's. I don't know. I think I say, I keep saying this and I will keep saying it. As soon as law enforcement and TBI zipped up, zipped up and not said anything, I said, You'll get all these people coming out of the woodwork. Right? First of all, we had some of his... A friend of theirs come out and talk. All oh, this was ages ago. And then we've had crackpot people saying, I know where it's about... All these sort of things, you know what I mean? Stupid, all types, rubbish. And as usual, we've had another one come out. And apparently it was his cousin, CP's cousin. Um, I did try and do some research on his family, but I couldn't find any cousins because every link I was clicking on was not allowing me to go further because I'm in the UK, which is a bit annoying. So after about 30 minutes of getting nowhere, I gave up. Oh, and then today, I went and got my two fur babies back, right? Because while I, while I go away, they go to my son's house. And because Bobby 
attacked my daughter-in-law. They, they don't trust having the one cat in the house, right? So he goes upstairs to to the neighbours, and she loves having Bobby. And Bobby made a girlfriend. Bobby cried all the way home, right? I get home, and all Toby's done, because he can obviously smell the female cats on Bobby, is attack him. Then I've gone in the bathroom, walked out the bathroom, and all of a sudden, Bobby literally jumped at my leg, snarling at me. Toby went for, ran for cover. I thought, thanks, Toby. Right? They wouldn't let me in the living room. So I went in the bedroom, got a little coat hanger out, and was just waving that about. So back off, you little flippers. You know what I mean? Since then, they've left me alone. I'm going to let them fight it out between themselves because that's all I've done since I've come home is fight. So if you hear a cat fight in the background, as long as there's no blood and it's only tufts of fur going flying, I don't care. They can fight it out. Anyway, back on to Sebastian. Right, so we've had someone come out. Um, hold on. And where is it? I've got this, but I've actually got it on um, on a, t a YouTuber's channel as well, where you can see it more clearly. And. Um, Actually, I might try and find that YouTube channel. I think it was Evil Exists. I think it was his channel. Uh, not this one. Yeah, this one. Right. Let's mute it because I just want to show you the clip where it's about Oh and this was something else. This Hold on, I'll share it. Take this down. To my knowledge, this is the only picture. I have seen where you got Chris with Sebastian and Katie in it. The only picture. That's the only picture we've ever, I've ever come across on YouTube is that picture. So there's a little Sebastian was a lot younger there. I'd say he's about seven, eight. Perhaps that was when they first met. Started living with each of you, you know what I mean? I don't know. Anyway, let's, so on here, you can see it more clearly, the, um, the post that the guy put up. I'm thinking, oh, God, how many more people are going to come from? It's like over a hundred days now, and now they're finally coming. I can't take this no more. I've got to spill my guts. Why couldn't you spill your guts 90 days ago? Or a hundred days ago, because we're over a hundred days now. So why couldn't you spill it when it was like 10 days into the investigation? Why wait till now? Sorry. Right? And I first heard about this on another YouTuber's channel. Not this one. Another YouTuber's channel. And he was right with what he was saying. Right? Because when you post anything on a page, I know because I've got my own pages as well that I run. Nothing to do with this. It's just private pages that I run for my children's group for where I live, where we help children at Christmas time and birthdays and Easter and things like that all year round. And I know 
if you post anonymously, right, which we allow, because some some families might be in hiding from their uh, violent partners, you know what I mean, and don't want their name out there, so they're coming anonymously, which is fine. As long as if they are requesting any help, like a delivery of a Christmas parcel or a birthday parcel or something like that, then we need to know their name, right? And we need to be able to get in touch with them so we can make an arrangement to contact, to meet up. I don't need to go to the home. We can just meet up somewhere and hand it off to them that way. Anyway, so I know when a post comes up in the back, ISG. No, I don't either. Right? And uh, anyway, the admin will see the name of that person who is posting. No one else will see, just the admin. Right? And so I believe that if anything... Um, they sh I hope to God they reported that post because they'd have the name of that person. So right, that's my cat's fighting in the background. Um, they'd have the name of that person. But apparently in here, we'll see a bit more in here because he leaves comments and things like that. He replies to comments. But I know it might be fake. And I think 99% of me, me, believes it's fake. Right? Toby, don't. Toby's not happy because he can smell females on Bobby. And he's not happy. Anyway, so he should not... It just means... That's another officer or another two detectives. And to investigate this person and check him out and make sure it is for real. You know what I mean? Oh, fuck you. You pack it in. <laughs> and uh, so but it has to be investigated because it could be real. Oh, it's like this, cut. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Right, it could be real, so it has to be investigated. But I just, I just got this feeling it's just someone else coming out of the woodwork to get their fifteen minutes of fame. You know what I mean? And by doing that, it's brought everyone back into the highlight of talking about it. Well, over the weekend. And from what I can understand, it came out on Sunday, which was Father's Day. I think it was Sunday because I saw it yesterday morning on this YouTuber's channel, and it's hours old by then when I saw it. So it must have come out Sunday. And I thought, this is not right. You are playing with a father's emotions here. Right? Whether it's true or not, you're playing with someone's emotions and this is not fair. It's not on. And so it's got to be checked out, but as SG just said, it shouldn't have been allowed. They shouldn't have posted it. Right? Not until it had been checked out and confirmed he was who he was and all this lot. Right? They've got admin on that page. Hopefully they've got admin who know how to do their research on a person. If it's in the US, say, in the US. Like, if it's someone in the UK, right? So that page was set up in the UK, and it's a UK family, yeah? And someone come through and put that post up. I'd be checking that person first myself and getting all the information as well as sending it to the law enforcement and whoever else. But before I posted it, I'd want to get checked with the police first. 
because that might be vital information. And you don't want that out there. Right? It's a bit like that video with the lights now with the car. Right? I like... I just think all this information that's been put out there is just going to damage the case, maybe, that they're hopefully building. Well, I hope to God they are building a case against whoever. I don't know if they are. I don't know who they are. If they are building a case, I don't know who it's against. Whether it's Chris, Katie, the Barisox, Seth, I don't know. Right? But what I can't understand as well is Chris is very quick. I feel like Min should have reported law enforcement. I believe it's fake, but it still should be. Yeah, I believe it's fake, but I feel it should be investigated, yes. Hold on, I'll just come into my comments. Yes, actually, I... I feel like, yeah, hopefully, I hope to God they reported it to law enforcement. But you see, the thing is, now, because we don't know if that admin reported it to law enforcement, right, we're going to have everyone else who is seeing that post report it to law enforcement. Yep. So, like, say there was... I don't know, 200 people who saw that post. What to say? That's 200 possible people emailing law enforcement with that information. So what Admin Sugar had done was check it out first with law enforcement, right, and not let that post go through until... They got it all clear from law enforcement. And then they could have put the post out and then put a with it. This is a fake thing. Do you not believe? Oh, well, I wouldn't have even posted it. I wouldn't have even posted it. I just declined the post. Once law enforcement has said, look, don't put this out there. It's fake or don't put this out there. It's possible information. Right? They've got a duty then to not put that information out there. But we don't know if they did phone law, get in touch with law enforcement. We don't know. And it should, and it needs to be, to be investigated, but it doesn't need to be investigated by us because what can we do? That guy could, like, he could have had a, changed his name to a certain name. You can change your name on Facebook to anything, right? So he could have put it as... A cousin found out that Chris had a cousin, right? And put it as his name. But really, at the end of the day, his cousin's got nothing to do with it. It's someone else who stole that cousin's ID. So there's so many. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think now. So much should have been done before even putting that out. But again, it's sometimes on Facebook, it's more for like clicks and views again. It's a bit like on YouTube. Post this, oh, we're going to get loads of clicks on this. And when the word gets out, everyone will be coming to our page. I was already a member. I hardly use that page. I was always already a member of that page. I hardly use it though. I hardly use any of those pages now. Because it's all BS. So, it's, I think it's just a shame because things like that, people saying things like that is not nice. I don't think it's true. But we're going to watch this just to see what it says. I will stop it as well when it comes to that post, okay? Just make sure it's up there, yeah. Oh, God, I'm just, Sorry. Just took it off and I'm going, Christ. Ugh. 
it's back. Oh, let's share this. Get full screen for you. And let's have a look. Away we go. This person said that. Oh, and by the way, this is Evil Exists. The link will be in the description. So please go and subscribe. It does really good work. Katie killed Sebastian and threw his clothes in the trash that night. Oh, well, some straight away thinking. called this out as BS. Some, it's not working Others out. said, Why is this not no sound on this? Why is there no sound? That what if, what if there is truth to this? I don't know why there's no sound. Come on, click up. Same there, just check my settings. Just checking my settings for my sound for some reason. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, it's there, it's all there. Yep. No, it's all there. So what's in your sound? Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll come out and I'll go back into YouTube because sometimes if I... Click it on mute at the top on the taskbar. It won't always come through again. And it, it does my head in. Shut up. Right. Let's get this up and running, hopefully. Uh. Subscribers took screenshots of more messages from this poster, oh. and it gets. I've gone past a bit. I wanted to say. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. We'll start there. Okay. This out as BS. Others said, what if, what if there is truth to this? Oh, God, he's gone past it again, hasn't he? Right. Well, some straight away. Well, it says, this is what it says. I'll enlarge it for you so you can see it a bit better yourself. Right. It says, I didn't want to do this. But I have to. I have been having nightmares and I can't handle it anymore. I am CP cousin. We grew up attached at the hip. I love him, but he holds so much information. Right? A person who may be questioned by law enforcement or guarding a person like this will be told by law enforcement not to do this again. That in itself helps eliminate more nonsense from this in, from that individual. It does, yeah. I'd actually press charges for what is it they do impeding an investigation or something like that. Anyway, we grew up a catch to his at the hip. I love him, but he, he holds so much information. I've just been feeling so sick from that this last month. Right? Chris confided in me and had informed me that Katie unalived Sebastian. And at that point, I wanted to hurt her. But he begged and pleaded and even paid me 500 to stay quiet. Hmm. I took the money and gave it to a homeless man. Yep. 
I am so, so, so tired, exhausted, and I need to be locked up. Oh, and he also told me that they stripped him naked and threw his clothes in the trash that night. I'm posting this here so someone else calls the cops because I'm already feeling too many... I'm already feeling too many emotions. Hmm. Five hundred dollars to stay quiet. That would have kept me quiet. No amount of money on this earth would have kept my lips sealed. No. Alright. Let me go. The way called this out as BS. Others said, "What if? What if there's truth to this?" Well, I heard that it's been called in multiple times and being investigated. One of you asked. Multiple times it's been called in. I say it's been called in more than multiple times. Some subscribers took screenshots of more messages from this poster and it gets you. Come on. Now this is the anonymous participant again. Hold on. Right. I did call after I posted this. I haven't slept in days. I know that feeling, mate. But I, it's not because I've got a guilty conscience. I just can't sleep. Why then did you post this and then tell the police? Should you not have told the police straight away? If you felt that much burden on your soul, should you not have told the police before posting? It's even more disturbing. Under the original post, this person claiming to be Chris's cousin started answering comments. This one reads, I did call after I posted this. I haven't slept in days. I assume he or she called police then themselves while asking others to call as well. When asked if Seth knows about this, the reply was, not that I know of. Right. Now the anonymous person goes, after you said about, does Seth know about this? Oh God, if I can pass you. Sorry. Not that I know of. Seth and I had a falling out a few years ago during a family barbecue. Hmm. If anyone has his current number, please let me know. I'll message. Do you think we're going to give you Seth's number? Yeah, right. Ask your big buddy, your cousin, CP. Right? Anonymous purse participant again. Chris did not tell me this much before, he thought I'd go there. So we didn't tell him where the body was. That's what he said. My head has been spinning and I can't let this go any further. Kathy and Terry also know, but they didn't want him locked up. Well, I can see a few Pandora bracelets coming out. If they do do any arrests. Seth and I had a falling out a few years ago during a family barbecue. If anyone has his current number, please let me know and I'll message. In his next message, there was a bit of a bombshell when asked if a location was known as to where to locate Sebastian. The response was, Chris did not tell me this much for he thought I'd go there. That's what he said. My head has been spinning and I can't let this go any further. Kathy and Terry also know, but they don't want him locked up. This is very interesting, since many believe that Chris's parents have knowledge about what happened to Sebastian and may have even helped get him out of the house. This last reply really made my jaw drop. Last reply says, you're so right, I may end up in prison because I have so much anger towards her and it wasn't an accident. She, she eff, effing did this because my cousin kept pressuring her. Well, I'm sorry, but... This guy could be anyone, because it's just telling, saying what we've all said ourselves. You know what I mean? We know CP did not want Sebastian in that house. We know, well, sort of know, that their marriage was on the rocks. Right? Now, we know how CP makes demands like when they first got together and she had those cats and he said it's either me or the cats 
she kept, she picked him. Yeah. So we know what she is like for putting out little, well, you choose me or him. Right. So we all know what CP is like. It reads, I may end up in prison because I have so much anger towards her. And it wasn't an accident. She did this because Chris kept pressuring her. This is some really shocking information, and whether it is BS or not, I still think this person needs to be located, and all these accusations need to be investigated. Right? I know um, that part, yeah. That part about falling out doesn't make sense to me. I'm grateful Seth attended barbecues with CP. Oh, can you really see him attending a barbecue with CP and his family? I swear to God, I'm going to kill these cats. Oh, now you're going to come to me. Come here. Drop this coin. Oh, I think he's telling me the other cat was up to some hold on. Okay. What are you talking to? Get out of here. Go. God's sake, my cat's tonight. Anyway, I can't see CP, uh, Seth going to any barbecue with CP and his family. He didn't like them. So, come on. Sometimes I've gone to somewhere and I'm not keen on a certain person or certain persons, right? But I have gone, right, just to keep the peace, like my family. <laughs> no, what well, is, they've been at my son's house. Well, one cat, Toby's been at my son's place. And Bobby, because he attacked my daughter-in-law and my, and my son last year, they're still weary. They don't want him have him in the flat. In case it's something in the flat that sets him off. But apparently, because he attacked them last year, they're just a bit weary about having him in the house again. So Bobby goes upstairs to the neighbours and she's got four female cats. So Bobby has come home with all this, the scent of these female cats all around him. Right? And Toby's not happy. Toby's not happy that he can smell of the cats on him. So Toby's moaning constantly and having a go at Bobby constantly. And about an hour ago, Bobby actually went for me. And now they're both eating. That's why they're quiet. The food's been there since I got home today. This was what, about five o'clock-ish? Something like that. It's been there since half five. Since I got in, got myself settled. Cat little jump. But... I'll tell you, I think my cats could make more sense of this case than what anyone else is. They really could, but... They're <laughs> like little kids, it's cute. Do you want them? <laughs> I must admit, though, I do miss them when I don't have them. I took them there on the Thursday, and I left to go to my daughter's on the Friday. So Thursday night, it was too quiet. So quiet, I didn't have them on my bed. I woke up Friday morning, looking for them on my bed, and then I realised where they was. Then I come out, got home last night, and I went to bed, and the cats weren't there. Woke up again, no cats. It's, it's just not the same without my cats. Be nice. Be nice, you too. Toby's definitely not happy. 
<laughs> no, but I like my cats. I, I always said I'll become this cat lady. Anyway, so I think... Okay, I'm not tapping it out. I think it's wrong that it was posted. It should never have been posted. And... What the, what the hell is going on? Don't want that. Hold on. <laughs> so, the best animals you can get, as well as dogs. I swear to God, he's following Bobby around. Poor Bobby can't get anywhere without Toby being right there moaning at him. Give. It's like you imagine an old a couple. Well, and the husband's being away for a few days with his friends. Then comes home, and the wife can smell perfume on the husband. And the wife's following that husband around. Yeah? What you been doing? Where you been going? What you been doing down there? That's what this is like. You've got two cats, both male. Right? Both brothers. The brothers, and the one brother is not happy because he can smell female cats on the other. So he's giving him earache. Constantly. It's horrendous. I'm dreading tonight when I go to bed because they're going to be at it all flipping night. Anyway, let's get off the subject of my cats. You call them your grandcats. Ah. Uh, I have grandchildren, but I, do, I think, you know, when your children, like, you have your children grow up and then they move home and then you've got that empty nest. Yeah. It's, a bit like that with me. So having a cat, I only had one, and then I had the brother as well then. So I've got the two now. It's like having two 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 boys in the house, and they're both squabbling. Right. Anyway. <clears throat> so I don't know what anyone else's thoughts on that is. I think it's a load of... BS, but it should, it has to be investigated, now it's out there, it has to be investigated, right, but it just means if it is fake, that's like, how many days it could be, it could take a day, it could take two, two days, depending on where the guy lives, yeah, because they've got to go and speak with him. They can't just do it over the phone. They have to speak with him. If this is real, they need to go and speak with him. So, it's just ridiculous. It's another one coming out of the woodwork. Now, we have an audio. As soon as I heard this, I literally peed myself with laughter yesterday when I heard about this audio and how it came from the video of the lights. And I'm going, really? First of all, that video come out. Yeah, the video of the lights come out. And I'm going to show you. I'll pull it up here. All right. We had the video of the lights come out. Bobby should have kept quiet. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, so you had that video come out digging up with the lights, which they tried to fob us off by saying it was garbage truck. Right? I went along with it because Seth said so. But in the background, I, I knew it wasn't a garbage truck. I just knew it wasn't. It just didn't sit right with me. So when anyone brought it up, I just, yeah, yeah, right. In one ear. Hold on to it for a few seconds and let it pass on through the other ear. And um, I, then we had that video of the, um, from the same video, 
as well of the ruckus which I hope to God I tried to dispel of dispel a few weeks back because they're saying the ruckus was outside their CP and KP's house garage and I said this, that could not have been their house garage because that camera does not look onto their house you can't you can just about see the roof of their house from that camera right yeah the lights now all joke yep right and it came from this woman's page i'm not going to put a game she's uh some psychic or she tarot card reader or something like that right but apparently she was sent this audio And she said she didn't do a lot on this audio, but she did do a few, some edits on it, like taking the background sound off it and doing this and doing 35 times. So you didn't do a lot. You just refigured the whole video that took you 35 attempts. Okay. But you didn't do nothing to the video. Okay. So, anyway, and there's nothing to back the audio up with because it says, she says it comes, she was told, she was sent that link, right, by a credible person and <laughs> I love that one, the lights in that audio. The lights. Right? She's a good I'm not one for tarot cards. And there's only one psychic I really do trust. And that's Seraphina, Reverend Seraphina. Or something. She's the only one. If she come out tomorrow and say, bump. One, two, three, four. This is what happened. One, two, three, four. This is you'll find them in them there. You'll find them there, or you're gonna find a tree with a funny looking branch on it, or something like that. I would believe her because she has been known to be exact on findings. Right? She has been known. And that's before the bodies were even found. Anyway, so... Uh, I thought, hold on, hold on, hold on. We've got audio now. I thought, I go away for four days. Four days, and I come back to this shit show. And every time we get anything like this, like that, Facebook page, now this audio is taking it away from Sebastian, right, because it's not credible, she said it was sent to her by a credible informant, a credible informant or whatever, and it, the audio comes from the video with the lights, so who did I email first? Can you guess who I emailed first? I emailed Nick Bearers. Asking him. Now, I emailed him. When did I hear about the lights? When I got home yesterday. So, I emailed him about, what? Oh, 7.30ish last night. Yes, I like, yeah. Right, Seraphina can give you the receipts for everything she does. Everything, right? But no one's actually she's she's spoken about this case, but not actually said anything. Uh, so. I'm waiting for her to say something because I will believe her then. 
I will believe her. Anyway, so, what was I saying? So I emailed Nick Bears last night. And apparently today, no, I can't find it anywhere. I've been on his Facebook page. I've been on YouTube. Highlight Lady K Talks. Right, I've been everywhere. And apparently he released um, an update about this. No, I can't find it anywhere. I've got his Facebook page. I have been on his Facebook page and I can't find it. And there was a YouTube, hold on. Who was it? Oh, yeah. Some people may not like this lady, but apparently she she read it out today. Right. Uh, right, let's have a look. Where is he? <coughs> yeah, that was one day ago. Could it be this one? Actually, I know where I've got it. I've got it in my download, so I know which one it is then. Yeah. Right. I should you remember I I had it in my downloads. Right, now, I'm just going to go to the spot I want it. Right. Uh, uh. I'm going to go with this. Just see, I'm going to tell us. Oh, she's reading it now, right? So we'll go back a bit. Hold on, I'm just trying to get past this.
không cần không cần Are you not getting audio again? Oh God, what's going on with my audio? Right, I'll go out again, come out of this, and come back into it because my my checks are all firing. I don't know why it is playing up. But let's just. Right. Go to my downloads again. Right. Come on. Right. Present. Tell me to hear the audio. Okay. Because I'm going to. Oh, I swear to God, cats, get off my table. Get, get off. Fight right on the floor. Don't fight over there. <laughs> uh, God. Um, what am I doing? I want to speak up. I know some of you may not like BHB, but let's just get some good... And she does credit it. <laughs> Don't be naughty. Be nice. Put them claws away, ladies. <laughs> right. Um, what am I doing? Start. To March 14th, that's when it was yeah, released. Yeah, you here. Almost three weeks after the 15-year-old disappeared from his home, his Hendersonville home. I obtained a copy, a clip of an exclusive security video appears to show two lights moving around in the dark near the home. All I have is the clip, nothing more. I'll show that in its entirety in the story where I highlighted the um, light images uh, because they are so vague. That's all because, excuse me, that's all you can really see. As far as I know, this is the only home security video taken in the area the night Sebastian disappeared that shows anything of potential significance. I confirmed at the time the video was being Auditoria. scrutinized by authorities and it, and it is in the case file. You can watch the original story. He attached it to his Facebook post. Uh, since it aired, several things have happened. So since it aired, so this is the new stuff that we don't know that since this story aired. Uh, one, authorities tell me the video is currently no of no evidentiary value. We absolutely know that this is a high, inter, um, you know, I agree they value, it's high so investigative, um, high evidentiary. This is a critical piece of evidence that will be used later down the road. I can almost guarantee that. Um, though they do not, they, they don't rule out the possibility of that change, I will say, where well, she said this piece of evidence will be used further on down the road. I don't think it will be now because it's been plastered all over YouTube and all over Facebook and Instagram and anywhere else you can think of. It's got to be tainted. Changing if new evidence surfaces. I think new evidence has surfaced. I did ask what investigators um, who vetted the video believed to be the source of the light that they declined to say. So they don't know where the, the source of the lights are coming from. They're declining to say. We clearly see them moving through the yard. Um, so we know that whatever they are, they're moving. They're not affixed. We can clearly see them moving across the across grass. Others close to the case claim that the lights were either floodlights from a gar uh, garbage truck. Uh, I'm no expert. Those look more like flashlights. 
or cell phone lights to me. And I have to agree. But who knows? There are those who claim to see other things in the video. Nope. Some say they have pulled a, t a telling audio evidence from the video. Nope. The clip I have does not have audio from that night. If anything is heard, like likely audio from when recorded off my monitor, and I said the feed. Thank you. Right, we don't need to hear no more because she's just confirmed what I said. What I said. Well, what I was. I was thinking when I was peeing myself with laughter when I heard about this audio. Right. I swear to God, if my cats had been here last night, I think they'd have looked at me and gone, she's lost it. Mum has lost it. You know what I mean? Because, you know, this morning, if the cats had been here this morning, they'd have thought I'd lost it. Because when I first heard this audio, I thought, here we go. Here we go. More BS coming out. Right. Now, I have got... Right, the original video of the lights. <laughs> but what I want to point out is the fact that when I first seen this, I saw another light at the very bottom. At the very bottom of that screen, I saw it. And I, to me, when I first seen it, it looked like someone was walking to the car. Right, so we're going. I'm going to show. It took me half an hour scrolling through my Facebook page this afternoon to get this clip. And once I got it, I go on my Facebook page and I left it up in my taskbar. I'm not going through that again. Half an hour of going scrolling down constantly. My my mouse was on that scroll button all the way down. God's sake. Anyway, I, I want to um, watch again. I want to see if I can get it bigger. All right, let me make it bigger. No. Okay, so hold on. Hold on. Oh, it is. Let's go back to the beginning. All right. Here we are, the screen. You see them little lots, dots? You see this second one coming in there. Now that's coming along that little dip, that ditch. But watch on the left hand corner where my mouse is down here. here. Just popping into view now. A light source. Don't worry about these two lights. Concentrate on this bottom light source. See how it looks like someone's moving, someone's walking. Right? But it may have just been the camera shaking from when you're that whoever filmed this video off the security camera. Now hang you you know when you're holding your camera up, your hands are moving. So your filming is going to be that little bit shaky. That's the car. It's not a garbage truck. We now know that because... Oh, I can get this off again. Uh, damn right, it's frozen. I'll try and find it again. Where is he? Bad crime stories, that's it. All these things will be in the description when I finish, okay? So, shout out to Bad Crime Stories. Right? And... We're going to go right. I'm 
time to go up to the air. Right. Uh, come on. Right. Share this tab. Now, when you looked at that angle before, right, of that other video, I said then, even in my post, in my post, I put, okay, is your face, uh, what did I put now? No, is it what I put? And tackle the screen. Yep. Let's go back. I put in my Facebook post, uh, who believes this could be Sebastian or who believes it could be the parents? Plus, that camera is really hard to get that angle, is it not? That was in the original video. And people were going, oh, it's at the back of the house, it's at the back of the house. And I thought, even so, it's not in a tower block. That is a really high angle. Right, so... When I found out it was a video, someone had took a recording on their phone off that home security video, then I thought, now I know why it's, at, why it's such a high angle. Right? Now, this one here shows you from the angle that is... Okay, lady K. Do you want to come do my housework next? <laughs> <laughs> I've only been back again. It looks like a tip already since I've brought my cat home, that is. <laughs> anyway, so now we're at the height, the angle of the camera, the house camera. And you can see the cars parked in their driveway. Right? You can see the two floodlights from that house across which is the house before Chris and Kate, Katie's house. It's on the bend. Right? Then, in those two lights, Now, from that first video, the original video, we're seeing the lights of that vehicle light up. We're seeing it. It was on the bottom left, left hand corner of that screen. Right? Now, if they're walking along here with their torches or phone torch, it could have been a phone torch or some little torch. It's not a very powerful torch, put it that way, because it would have gave off a lot more light. Right, so they're walking, one's standing around here, apparently, or here, and the other one's walking along that deep. Why that they have one standing here, I don't know, when the car is over here. You know what I mean? I could understand someone standing here by the car, but not around here. So I don't understand that. I don't know. It's just a lot to take in.
Watch for the lights. Them are definitely that is definitely a car. You can see the back end. You can see the front. And you get a good height thing really. There's one light. Now that light's not moving. It could have been a house light. Now, I'm not bothered about the car. I know where the car is. Right? That is definitely a car. Thank you, but anyone says that is a car, not a garbage truck. But what gets me is the lights. Why did the light... That's not moving. That light is not moving. There's one flashlight. There's two lights, but it's only one flashlight. That's this light here and the corner. It's not moving. Now, what I gets me is in that in those last two videos we just saw, well, last video at least, you didn't see the car lights come on. So where's the car in that video? Right. Let's go back. Uh, I'm going to take the sign off because we don't need the sign. There's no car lights coming on at the moment. Hold on. Then if it comes on. No. So where's the car lights there? Right? Now look, if you've got the two lights, that light there, and that line is not moving. That light there is not moving. This little one is. But this is where you see the car lights come on. Yeah? Got the car lights there. No, that's the house lights. See the one light moving, that one isn't. I'm trying to get the car lights again. 
Come on. And oh God, I can't. You know what? I'm just even more confused now because I've just because watching those three videos again, you don't see the car lights come on in the other two videos. You only see them come on. Virgo. Hi, Virgo. But no news on the remains found at St. Jude's yet. I haven't heard anything. I've seen headlines about that, but I don't think it's Sebastian. I heard that, but they, could, they called Seth to come down. Why would Seth need to be called for that? Hi, M cars. Why would Seth need to be called to remains? Now I saw the I saw someone in the first video, in that very first video, this video here on Facebook. This one. You can see it there. Right, you'll see the lights come the car come into it in a minute. I seen it the first time I watched it and I thought, what is that light? Never for one minute did I think it was a car. Now that light there is not moving, it's just the hanged person's hand on his phone. But you watch there's a light come on at the bottom. But no one ever said anything about this light at the bottom here. And because the camera was shaking, it looked like someone was walking. Yeah? But it'll come into full view. There it is. There's the car. So, anyway, I'm off to find out more. Okay, Virgo, if you find anything out, let me know. Yeah, I think it's a bit strange. I haven't heard nothing about Seth being called down, called to come down. Thank you, Virgo. Um, because like, it was he. A... I thought it was strange that first video when we first seen. I kept thinking about those lights at that bottom of the corner, and I kept thinking, "What is it? What is he?" Right, and then when Seth come out by law. After he spoke to law enforcement, he said it was a garbage truck. Right? And as I've just said, this video is not going to be any help to anyone. No, I haven't see, seen anything either, and I've watched several myself. And I've been refreshing YouTube and everything for any new updates, and I haven't heard nothing about Seth being called down. But it might not be on YouTube, it might be on Facebook. And perhaps YouTubers haven't seen it yet. Or perhaps some YouTubers are checking it out first before actually running with the story. You know what I mean? Anyway, we are going to get on to the audio. But now that's, it's just got, I'm going to have to check these videos again because I want to know why 
you don't see that car in the other two videos. Right. Anyway, well, what am I doing? I'm looking for... Here we go that. Come on. Oh, God, Grandma. Get over to that. Uh, downloads. I'm looking for... What am I looking for? Oh, look. The audio, isn't it? Is this it? No, that was the... Um... Where's the audio? Oh, right here. This is the audio. No, I'm not going to run this woman down, because we all do our best to... You know what I mean? See, the 50-something versions to en enhance this video. Hang on, I'm not watching the three videos again. We just done that. Yes, I found that lately as well, SG. I used to like checking the Facebook, uh, certain Facebook pages, because you was getting some good information, which was checked and you had the receipts for, you know what I mean? Now, we're not getting nothing apart from BS, from all the Facebook pages. And I think it's such a shame because at the end of the day, there's only one person suffering here. One person. And that person is Sebastian. He's the one who's missing. He's the one who's out there, in the cold, on his own, whatever. It could be with someone, it could be hound somewhere. We don't know. And when you've got all these false and stupid rumours coming out, it doesn't help the case. Right? Now we're going to listen to this audio. <laughs> because this did make me laugh. Because I must admit, at first I thought it was like one of them spirit boxes. Have you heard the spirit boxes? To me, it sounded like a spirit box. So, as soon as I heard about this audio, I emailed, as I said, I emailed Nick Berries. And he put out that post that I played that ball horn Betty read out. I didn't, I didn't play all the post because I just wanted her to read that bit out about the new audio. And that the audio that would have been heard would have been if there's any audio on there, that lag or that person who was videoing that, this here on the screen, who was videoing that at the time, could have been ambience noise, background noise from the house, could have been the parents talking in the hallway or in the living room or in the kitchen or wherever they were, right? It could have been the noise, like Nick Bear said, it could have been ambience noise from when they did their editing. Possible. Because they've, ed they've edited. Right? Some, yes, 
running hard, some will automatically believe info that fills their narrative. Yes. Yes, SG, I believe that. And it's sad to say we're not getting no information out. We're not getting nothing out, nothing new. So people are coming up with this, the made up anything to get views and clicks and and just run with the story without checking it first. Right? Now, I could have come on. When was it I heard about this? Was it last night or this, this morning? I'm sure it was last night. But it was definitely this morning when I did hear it for definite because I was pissing myself with laughter. So perhaps I was too tired last night to even acknowledge it. All right. And, um, but the first thing I did once I had my head screwed on after laughing it off so much, I emailed Nick Berries. Simple as. He's the one who speaks to law enforcement. He's the one who first put out that video. So he would know if there was any sound. And as I said in the email, I just said to him, like, um, there's an audio going around uh, saying it is CP and KP talking and it's the audio that came from the video of the lights. Can you confirm yes or no? That's all he had to come back and say to me, no or yes. Can you confirm yes or no there was audio, right? So he obviously got a lot of people messaging him because he then put that statement out, that ball home, Betty Red out. But I can't find anywhere. I can't find it. So, and I said it had to be, it could be background noise, it could be any noise. I didn't believe it was CP or KP. I'm not sticking up for them, right? But not only that, right? Yep. Not only that, there was across the road. If it was CP and KP with their little torches, their little flashlights, whatever, there was across the road. How on earth is a. Uh, you might pick up a car go past or. The wind blowing or trees rustling. But you wouldn't hear a conversation. You would not. And as for these two lights up here, these two big lights, they are from those garages of that first house on that corner from the neighbours of CP and KP. It's not their garage. And that is where those two lights is where they've zoomed in on and got that ruckus video yeah yeah if I have anything before now I will anything about this video or about any audio video that's coming out about any this case now I will be emailing Nick and unless we hear off him I will not talk about it, right? I will not. If I hadn't heard that statement today, right, I would not have, I would have mentioned it, but then gave you my opinion, right? I would not be playing it because I, did, I don't think it was right to play a video, go running with it, Oh, it is the sound of CP and KP and all this lot. And it isn't. Right? So, yeah, we did. Yeah, we just, I couldn't find it anywhere. But I found Bullhorn Betty. She had it on her YouTube channel. So I just played that short clip of her reading that statement. And, um... I went on his Barry's page. Couldn't find it. It wasn't on his page, not that I know of. Right? I can pull up his page. 
I'm young. Give me a second. On Facebook and YouTube. Nick Barris. I don't know, it might be up there now. Perhaps I haven't loaded before. I don't know. Oh, get off. No. 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 You know what I mean? I can't find it. But I read it out on here. From Bullhorn. I let Bullhorn Betty. I know Bullhorn Betty has it. I've just played it on here. M cause And I was telling SG and Lady K to be nice and to put their claws away. <laughs> because Bull on Betty, I think, has learned her lesson um, from jumping in and saying things. She now does fact check everything. She does. And she will not put anything on her, on her lives that hasn't been fact checked. Um, I thought, well, because he put that out, I, I knew it anyway. I knew there was no truth to the audio, which we're going to be playing very soon. And yes, if you've got earpieces or headphones, please put them in if you want to hear it. Right, but it's just, I, just, I don't understand why people are coming out with this stupid nonsense. Like, first of all, they tried to make out, from this video in front of you, on the screen, they tried to say, those two lights here, up in the top left-hand corner where my mouse is going to now. Right? Give me time to catch up. And tried to say, when zoomed in on there, and they zoomed in and zoomed in and zoomed in, to the point where you'd see anything, right? And I mean, that isn't even CP's house. You know what I mean? That wasn't even their house. It was their neighbour's house. And, and then I thought, well, what about the two little lives that we've seen before? If... If people are saying that I see KP walking down there, then how can KP and CP be over here by this garage having a ruckus in front of someone's house? You know what I mean? It didn't... I knew then. No, nope, that isn't true. It's just what people are seeing and thinking and believing. And as I said, I go on facts. I go on facts, and that's why I did email Nick Berries. And he obviously, as I said, he obviously got enough people emailing him about this. Enough people with common sense to think, oh, damn, let's get in touch with Nick Berries. He will know. He's the one who put the video out in the first place. Right? Exactly, Lady K. Yes. But, to be honest with you now, because this video was released, right, it's going to be no, of no use if it went to court. No use. Because, like I said, it's been on YouTube constantly. It's been all over YouTube. There's been a ruckus made out of it. There's been um, this audio now, which I'm going to play, put out by it, a car. Right, you can visibly see a car, right, in that left-hand corner, you can visibly see the lights of a car. Yep. So we know there is a car there. As that lady whose house it came from, the video came from, said a car pulled up, 
I think she said, was it 3.34 or 4.30, 4, 4, something like that. And then reversed back up onto Kelling Lane and drove away. Right? It did not go all the way up Kelling Lane. It just reversed back around the corner and drove down Kelling Lane to the main road. So, take that as you will, but I, it's not going to be of no use when it goes to court now. And this is the annoying thing. Nick Berries should never have released this video in the first place. Never. He didn't do his due diligence there. And as I said, if they are investigating, they're not going to tell us anything. They don't have to tell us anything. And that's why people are now coming out with their own theories and everything else. Because they've got to have something to talk about. Well, I'm sorry, there's other missing children out there we can talk about, as I will be tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, let's listen. Well, I can find you. This is it. Um, I will put this picture over it. The length of time the car was stopped is important, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't there for long. It, she said it was only there for three, four, three to five minutes. Then it reversed out of the road, around the corner, and then went down Kelling Road, drove away. It did not go up Kelling Drive. Now, there is a YouTuber that reckons they went up Kelling Drive and went into the construction site and that's why they got the scent of Sebastian. Now, I've got theories on my own as to why Sebastian's scent could be round by that bin. That scent could have been left there from Saturday or Friday evening. Perhaps he went for a walk about Saturday afternoon, right, or Friday after school. He went for a walkabout. He went round by those big bins. He went over by the retention pond. It could be days old. Right? So I'm not taking too much into that. So, and I said that from the beginning. That scent that the dogs picked up on could have been days old. Because dogs can pick up a scent up to, what is it, seven, ten days? A good dog can pick up a scent from up to seven to ten days, I believe. Maybe longer, I don't know. I'd have to talk to the canine lady about that. She has mentioned, talked about that before, though. I'll have to try and watch some of her videos and catch up. Um. Anyway, so let's listen. Get your headphones on if you can, please. I will try, I'll put this up. Right. Let me know if you can hear the sound.
Let's try it also at this side. For some reason, every time I open anything up on my on a YouTube, it's the sound isn't coming through all the time. So I'm having to reload it again. Can you hear that, everyone? Can you hear that then? I play it again. No. What the hell is going on with YouTube? To the YouTube or StreamYard? You was having trouble with StreamYard, so uh, you didn't go live. I haven't went live. I've been. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about Restream, right? But I don't know, because I've had a lot of trouble with StreamYard. I keep getting kicked off. Well, well I'm not playing anything at the moment. So. <laughs> right, I'm going to play it again. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I've got to set it back up again. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. Comparison, and a lot of people couldn't see it. You have to kind of sit back to, to see what it looks like people moving. And yeah, I know, Ellie, moving. hey, witchy mama, sweetie, thank you for being. Right. Yeah, I know. I paid for the service and it just sucked. Okay, so that was the 30. No, I missed that bit because we're seeing all that bit. Get your headset on. You said. Questions on how to find the audio Can you hear that, that accompanies now? that 34 vid second light video from the neighbor's dash cam as she said all three videos are from the same dash cam the audio i'm going to pull it up right now the audio i'm assuming i can share i'm assuming i can share thank you uh i'm def i'm definitely going to look into this dream hmm why is it not in? I'm trying to pull it up. It's my laptop. I don't want to fast forward it because I can miss it. Okay. Whoa. That's psychedelic. God. You might have to. I might have to do it that way. Let me try again. I think I'm not um, in there. Wild. I'm trying to share software on my camera on, on my laptop. Oh God! Sorry, so the download that I got from that 34 second video is 44.4. Oh, sorry, sweetie. Yes, sorry, honey. Can you hear that? Hogging, I think. I'm in your car. Okay, let me try the one that I've... All I've done is reduce the background noise, reduce the volume, and I've and then did exactly the same thing I told you I just did to the one you were listening to. 
let's see if the cleaned up version you can hear. I don't know if anybody's wearing headset, but let's see. I'll pull up the the 35th edition. This is the 35th edition that she's done of this. You know what I mean? God. Come on, pull it up. Hang on. Oh, God. Got to lower the volume and reducing the volume from any other clip. I've reduced the audio down to 50%. I haven't slowed it down yet. We can play it and slow it down if you need to. Reduce the background noise by 100%. That's it. So listen to this. <laughs> Did you all hear that? Did you all hear that? To me, that sounded like gobbledygook. People saying they could hear a man's voice. But as I said, that could have been... When that lad was filming that off the home security camera, he was filming on his phone, watching on the home security camera, filming on off his phone, Right, that's why you think that second light is moving, which I don't think that second light is moving. Right. Um, and you've got background noise in that house. It could have been parents in the hallway, noise outside, anything. So... I am not taking too much into that. And as we all know, there was no sound. Pardon me. There was no sound. Yeah, it was completely garbled. Completely garbled. How anyone could get a word, make a word out of that, or a sound of a guy or a woman or a child, I do not know. Right, I'm slightly, I'm partially deaf in my one ear, and I could hear that, but it wasn't any words that made any sense to me. And as we all know now, it did not come from that video. Right, it can't, it did not. Come from this video. Alright. Take this down. Do not come from this video here. You heard Nick Berry say in that statement there was no sound. Even the neighbour whose home security camera it came from, said there is no sound. Right? Now, to be honest with you, if I had home security camera, I wouldn't have sound. I wouldn't. I'd have sound on my ring doorbell, obviously, but I wouldn't have sound on my home security cameras. As long as I could see who's coming in my house, you know what I mean? I don't need to hear what they're talking about as they're walking past. And I can go into you now. I've got a video on my phone from the weekend. Right? We went to this place where it's just full of animals. Right? And I decided to take a video of it rather than keep taking photos. Because 
for some reason, every time I took a photo of an animal in the in the glass cages, it was giving off a reflection. So you wasn't getting very good photos. So I thought, right, I'll do a video. Plus, I might be able to catch that blue, this really big blue butterfly flying around the room. And I did catch it. Right. What was that? Um, the woman has lost complete credibility. Do you think so, SG? She said, but you see, if there was sound, right, to that video, why doesn't she play the video with the sound? You know what I mean? That would be more credible if they had the video and the sound together. But you don't. You just got the audio. Now, to me, that doesn't make sense. And for anyone to go running with this, it's just silly. And I know a good couple of YouTube YouTubers, and I, I really like, I like these uh, couple of YouTubers, and they've gone running with this audio, and they've not done any fact checks. They didn't check. It only needed one message, one message to Nick Berries. That's all it took. And no, and they didn't do no checks. And it's just so upsetting when I hear things like that. Right? So, it's just gobbledygook, as we say in the UK. Gobbledygook. No no, there's no, you no, you watch now, there's going to be someone come out with this video and put that sound with that video. Bet you anything. <coughs> <coughs> Someone's going to mess with that, with the video and the sound and put the sound to that video. I can guarantee you it. Because <laughs> they will. And I say, let them, let them. I won't play it. I won't play it on here because I now know that I knew beforehand. I knew what the answer would be from Nick Berries. I mean, I've got it off Nick Berries. There was no audio. Don't you think if there was audio, he would have played the audio as well? He would have played it. But there was no audio. So please, if anyone's got any sense, and I think everyone on my page has. <laughs> anyone on Twitter, if you've got any sense, please don't take that audio video with any big credibility because it isn't. Right? It isn't worth anything. So, no. Oh. I just needed to come on tonight to, to say I'm back and to try and clear this BS up. It's, you'll watch there'll be more BS come out. And if anyone who runs a Facebook page for Sebastian, can you please, if you get any messages come through, like that last message, can you do your checks before you actually... Accept the post and they go on to your page. Because that's what happens. You let that go on to your page and then people will, will go running with it. This is a child we're talking about. It's not a ch it's not for this child isn't for click views and whatever else. This is a missing child we are talking about. And it's wrong that people, even on Facebook, I put him letting posts like that go through. Right? Without doing the checks. Without letting law enforcement know first before they even post it. Before they even let it go through. 
right? Because I tell you now, on my one Facebook page, which I do for my diamond art, right? I say, and my other admin, there's only me and one other admin on there, and one of our rules is no self, um, like you can't sell on it, you can't come on and say, oh, I'm selling these diamond art, or I'm selling this, and no self-promotion either, right? One woman come on my page and said, oh, can you send everyone on, can you put a post up for me, for my YouTube channel? No. If anyone's going to do a YouTube channel on this page, it's going to be me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, and I thought, no, because that's self-promoting. I'm not doing that. If you come upon a Facebook page as a page, then I'll promote your page that way. But I'm not going to put your link up any other way. So I have to, and I still come through selling, and I have to decline those posts. I will not put any posts up whether selling or self-promoting. I won't allow it. And if they keep doing it, we give them a warning. Stop selling or stop self-promoting. It's not allowed. Rule number four or rule number three. You know what I mean? I was in Tony's Facebook group. I was told only factual information would be on there. That was not true, right? I asked administration to remain false, to remain false information. Administration never responded or removed. Yeah. There's nothing now, I believe, on any of those Facebook pages. None of them. All right? So, and I'm sorry, Seth, but that other Facebook page that I know you, you is not admin to, but it was set up by your spokesman or was asked to be set up by, or he asked someone to set it up for you. They are putting a lot of false information out there. And any other Facebook pages, please stop. If you're admin to them, don't put any false information up. And like some pages you go on, you can't say anything bad about Chris. You can't say anything bad about Katie. Or if you're on a certain Facebook page, you can't say anything bad about Seth. I'm thinking, oh, darn, it's a Facebook page. You should be able to for your opinions, but they're not allowing you, but they will post false information, and I don't agree with that, but as that one YouTuber said, I hoped admin did report it to law enforcement, but as we said earlier, it should never have been posted in the first place, it should never have been cleared to go up on their page. Because if that is true, then, <coughs> which I don't think it is, because otherwise he's putting his life at risk. You know what I mean? Because I don't think Chris will have told many people if that was the case, so he's going to know which cousin it was, and we'll have got back to him. But I just find it funny that Chris is quick to turn around and say, like, when there was a sighting of Sebastian... Apparently, which we all thought that was a spitting image of Sebastian. We all thought it, right? And even Seth was quite clear. He really honestly thought that was Sebastian, right? And it wasn't. And we all, I was a bit heartbroken by that. I thought, Perhaps you could see a light at the end of the tunnel. Perhaps Sebastian is still out. But, oh, hold on, my alarm's going off, hold on. Oh, go off. Right. But Chris was first one to turn around and say, it isn't him. <coughs> <coughs> How would he know it wasn't him? When Seth himself, his own father, 
it's like it's a high possibility it's him it looks like him he's got the same features as sebastian right he even went down to north carolina himself because he thought it was his son so how can chris be so adamant it wasn't him right then you get a post like this come out with the on facebook you know you tell me cp has not heard about this post it's everywhere right it's on youtube it's on facebook pages right you're telling me he hasn't heard about this post and yet he hasn't said nothing about it in fact cp hasn't said anything much lately which makes me wonder why he's gone so quiet why? Why's he gone quiet? Kate has been quiet for, for a long time. She's been really quiet. You've heard her in the background sometimes when Chris has been on live on some YouTuber's channel, right? But you haven't heard her herself come out on a live for ages. So I, it just makes me wonder why Chris has gone so quiet. Right. And where are they? Are they still at the uh, campground? No one's saying anything no more about that either, are they? Because I didn't believe that was right. Because I'm sure if law enforcement are looking into CP and KP, say there was, they're not going to let them go off to a campground without being watched. They're going to have eyes on them. So we don't need people driving around, honking their horns and shouting out the window and video recording them. We don't need that. Law enforcement will do that themselves. And let's, I'm not saying forget about Sebastian. I will never forget about him until he's found. I will still do my lives on him. I try and do two lives a week, normally a Monday and a Friday. Because over the weekend, you don't get anything anyway. And I won't be on this weekend because I've got my grandson and my granddaughter here. Yeah. So you don't get anything over the weekend. So if anything was to come out over the weekend, you wouldn't hear about it till Monday anyway. Unless he was found. And believe me, if he was found, I would be on here straight away if he was found. Every YouTuber would be going live straight away. Right? Because it would be... It would be... Click view. And this is what's happening now. Because they need to keep the click views and the views going. They're, they're talking about anything and it's ridiculous. Anyway, I've said enough on my case on this. I will not. Hmm. I, I know BHB has done her research into that car. But I'd like to do my own research into those car lights. So until I've done my research and figured it all out, I will not talk about this again. Right? So I'm hoping to try and get that done this weekend. This week, I mean. Get all that done. Because I haven't got to go out this week now till Friday. So I've got Wednesday and Thursday to work on it. And then tomorrow I'm more looking at the case of another, I'm looking at another case tomorrow of a young girl that went missing. That's intriguing, that case is. Very intriguing. Anyway. Thank you for everyone on Twitter for being here. Thank you for those in YouTube and those in the comments, like KSG, whoever else, I can't remember. Oh, oh, God, I can't remember. Virgo, Cars, M Cars. Thank you all, everyone, for joining in on the chat. Thank you for watching. Please, if you're on Twitter, leave me a heart, leave me a message. I do reply to all messages. I've done Whitney Hatfield. Um, they did get back to me, and there's no new information come out about her at the moment.
because I asked about the father and they don't know where the father is. And I said, have they been in contact with her mother? And they said, we've asked them about that and they've not got back to them. Right? So until I know, I'll look into it a bit more to find out more. But until I've got some new information on that case, I'll only post like something on Facebook or Twitter. Right? But I won't do a live until I've got something new. I might do a live next week, right, about it, just to up, just to refresh everyone about that case because so much not right with that case either, right. I'd really like to know about the friend. Her friend knows something, and I think the law enforcement need to... Um, got onto a, the friend about this because that's not on. Anyway, I'm going to say goodnight, right? And I will see you all tomorrow. So thank you for that. Till then, thank you. And I will be back tomorrow at 8 o'clock. So I'll play out with my usual ending like this first. <laughs>